Hello and welcome back to Human Resource Machine. That was, and the last time we left off, one of the hardest puzzles. I think I say that all the time, but that one I think actually was, was the hardest. Uh, I struggled a lot, I'll be honest. Um, it didn't go very well for me. Uh, I ended up um, scouring the internet to have a little look at the ways other people had done it, because I found that one really, really difficult for some reason. I just couldn't get things in the right place, and there was always something, and the zeros threw me off. Um, I didn't precisely copy it, I did just sort of look at the way it worked and then closed it out and came back to this knowing what I needed to do with numbers. Regardless, that one is done. That one is out of the way and I'm very, very, very scared that the next one will be just as tricky but we've got an extra path here which is cool. I do like it when we get to do these extra things. However, this time we're going to start with zero terminated sum. Sounds good. 21, let's do this. Year 21. I couldn't imagine doing anything for 21 years. I've only just been alive for, well, maybe, well, longer than 21 years, but not much longer, probably. So, there's that. Um, what? Yes, I know what that is, lady. Look how, look how good my eyeliner is, so don't worry about it. Um, no, I, I didn't actually. I, I would like to ask you about it. An external source. This thing likes to make me Google stuff. Um, tell me more. String is just a list of values, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 4, 9, 2, 9, 2. How do we know when one string ends and another string begins? We can mark the end of a string with something special, like a zero. Good stuff, good stuff. Here are two zeros terminated strings, one, two, three, and nine, eight. Right? Okay. Cannot contain number zero, since zero means something special. Well, now we know. Back to work, good stuff. Okay, the inbox is filled with zero terminated strings. What's that? Ask, ask me your boss. Cool. Add together all the numbers in each string. When you reach the end of a string marked by a zero, put your sum in the outbox. Okay. So, we're going to go to our inbox. We're going to pick up a thing. And we're going to copy it to this. Then we're going to go to our inbox. In fact, you know what? We're just going to loop that. Pick it up. Copy it to... I don't want to copy it to zero, actually, do I? I want to copy it somewhere else. Hmm. We're not going to loop that. Go back to the inbox, pick up a thing, copy it to number one. Um, if at any point we go there and it's a zero, well then, we're just going to go down here. And I don't know what we're going to do yet, <laughs> but that's what we're going to do. So we pick up a thing, it's going to work. See, this is why I find it hard because this, it will work for this specific one because I can see exactly what I need to do, but it probably won't work for all of them. And she shouted at me, well, maybe he shouted, I don't even remember anymore, it's fine. Let's have a look. So we're gonna pick up our number, put it down. Cool. Pick up our next number, we're gonna put it down. Cool. And then when we go to the inbox next time, it's gonna be a zero. So I'm gonna put it so that we're gonna copy it to this. But it's actually gonna be a zero. So if it's a zero, we're gonna go down here. So when it's a zero, we're gonna go down to this section here. Now what do we do at this point? We're gonna go and copy from number one. And we're gonna add it to this. Is that correct? Then we're going to copy from this and add it to this. This is only going to work for this specific one because I can see there's three. If there's one with four, then I don't think it's going to work. Um, and then we're going to copy from this and outbox and repeat. So let's see. Let's see what this does. Um, it's pretty wrong, but it's fine. So we're going to take two. That's cool. And we're going to take eight. That's cool. But then we're going to find a zero when we pick this one up. So we're going to take this, we're going to take this, add them together. Ooh, I didn't want to copy from. I did want to copy from. Hmm, you're correct. Well, I've done this completely wrong, so that's a good start. Let me, um, in fact, let me just, let me, let me do this. That's better. Let's see. We're picking up a number. We are going to need to copy them to the floor. It's a shame you can't automate this bit so that you can make it just copy wherever you want. I don't want to do that yet. I'll draw pictures later. Oh, wait, 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 copy two. That's what I'm looking for. Copy to one. Oh, it's just... I need a little loop that picks it up and sees what it is. So, that's what I need to figure out first. So if it's a zero, when you pick it up, then we're going to go do the thing. If it's not a zero, then I want you to copy it to a box. But, I can't define which box I'm copying to. Well, I mean, I can, but I have to be specific, so I can't just let it loop. What can I? 
Copy it to zero, go back to the inbox. If it's a zero, it's gonna go do something else. If it's, it's gonna go back, if it's, wait. Yes, then we're gonna add it to this. And then loop. But if it is a zero, we'll go do something else. Let me see if this works. Got a thing, put it down. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. No, wait, 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 wait. Pick up a thing, put it, copy it there. Then I need to go pick up another thing. Then I need to copy it and add it. So that's where I'm getting confused. Okay, so we'll pick a thing up. We're gonna copy it to the floor and then we'll go into the loop because the first number is not a thing. So let's see what happens. We're gonna pick it up and we'll put it down. We're gonna pick it up and then we're gonna add it to this thing and we'll put it down. Then we're gonna go here and it's a zero. So we're at the end of our string now. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy from zero, put it in our box, and then repeat that. Does that work? Take our eight, got our five. Then that's the end of the string. So we take our 13. Yes, got our four, put it down. Take our six, add it to a thing. Then this one's not zero, so it's gonna do it again. I think this might be the one. I think we might have cracked it. That's a zero. Wait, is that right? Then we got zero. Then we got zero. Okay. Uh, that kind of worked. I don't think it was supposed to, but it did. Let's speed it up and see. See how it feels. No. The last one didn't work. Um, I'm going to speed up because I want to see if they've said it intentionally so that the last one doesn't work. Which I imagine that they did. Um, yeah, they put a zero on the end, so that's what's throwing it off. So then he's gonna go do that. So what what does he do at the end, and how how do I stop it from happening? Let's go back a few. So we're adding stuff together. So we're adding this string together. Okay. And what does he do that he shouldn't do? He's gonna go get his next number. He's gonna add it to the string. Go get his next number. Add it to a string. Go get his next one. Add it to the string. And when he goes to get his next one, it's a zero. So, ah, and then he goes and does some bad things. So when it's a zero, oh wait, so how do I figure this one out then? That makes my whole thing broken. <laughs> cool, so we're gonna get our number. If it's a zero, we're just gonna go straight down here and throw in the outbox, okay? Then, if it's not, we're gonna put it down. Then after that, we're gonna go into our loop where we pick up the number, add it, copy it. Pick up a number, add it, copy it. If we hit zero after we pick up the number, it means we're at the end of it, so we're gonna go here, then we're gonna pick up that one and put it in the bin. Cool, let's give it a go. Put down our eight and our two, that's the end of the string. Put it in there, got our six. Yes, yes, end of the string, put it in the bin. Yes, and then yes. Okay, he hasn't shouted at me, so I assume it's okay for me to just put zeros over here. Maybe I should have just discarded them. No? I think he's okay. Yes! He's not even mad at me. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Zero terminated some. Didn't do too great again. I'm really not very good. Okay, well, speed challenge is fine. I don't know how that works. That's cool. Well, let's have a look then. We're really not doing very well in lights, uh, actually. But that's that's okay. That's not really the end of the world. I'm too scared to do these now, man. They're gonna be so difficult. I just know it. It's fine. Fibonacci visitor. How hard can it be? Mm. Advanced. Uh, no, I don't want to be here. Can I leave, please? They are difficult. If you need to ask for help, I'll just be looking through things. Cool. For each thing, for each thing in the inbox. These can I cheat? They don't do anything cool. For each thing in the inbox, send to the outbox the full Fibonacci sequence up to, but not exceeding the value. For example, if inbox is 10, outbox should be 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Are you serious? No. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I think I might just skip that one. Uh, I don't want to skip it though, I want to complete this. That's just silly though, man. How am I supposed to do that? 
let's go back in. Let's let's. Oh man, let's have a let's. Have, yeah, that's fine. I know. I I don't want to be here. Don't worry. Tell me something more. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the two numbers just before it. Makes sense. So one plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. I get it. I get it. That's fine. First two numbers are one and one, so the third number is yes. What's number? Yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, but. Okay, back to work. Bye. But how do I figure out how to do this? Well, I gotta pick up a number, that's for sure. Let's pick up this number. Let's go put it down on this one. And then we need to see. Um. Send to the outbox the full Fibonacci sequence up to, but not exceeding it. So because it's a nine, we need to send one, one, two, three, five, eight. How do I do that with this? Um, I gotta put it down. Okay, no, no, I got this. I got this. I gotta put it down, and then I'm gonna put it down over here as well, just for safekeeping. Then what I need to do is I need to subtract am I still holding it at this point I don't know so I'm gonna pick it up again just in case I'm not holding it subtract it from itself so I get zero then I'm gonna bump this then I'm going to copy it and put it in here wait I'm gonna copy it and then outbox it then I'm gonna go back bump it again but that's not gonna give me a one that's gonna give me a two so that's already wrong let me see if this makes any sense. Um, cool, so we're going to turn it into a 0. No, we turned it into a 10. Why did I turn that into a 10? I thought I was going to take subtract it from itself. What? Wait, am I really confused? I get my 6. And I got my 6. Then I'm going to take subtract my 6 from my 6. And be 0. Oh, I don't put it back on the floor, that's why. I wonder, I was so confused, man. So then we got a zero, then we're gonna bump it up to one. Then I'm gonna pick up my one, put it in our box. Then, I'm gonna go back, pick up my one, put it in our box. I can't say, well, I guess I can actually just tell it to do it twice. Maybe, uh, may, uh, do you know what, I'm just, I don't care how rough this is, if it works, I'm happy. Even if she shouts at me, says it only works for these numbers, doesn't matter. If I get this done, I'm happy and uh, I'm, I'm going to go back off. Um, then I'm going to bump it again, which makes it a two. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm going to copy it to here first. Then I'm going to go. Wait. Hold on. So I'm going to turn it into a zero. And I've got my one, which goes in here. Then I put my one down. And in here, then I'm gonna bump it. Okay, then I'm gonna add it to here. Then I'm gonna outbox it. And then I haven't copied it, so it's not gonna work. But I'm gonna copy it to here. Am I? Is that right? No, it, even if this was to work, it's not gonna loop properly anyway, is it? So we've got one, which goes in here, got another one. Then I'm going to bump this to 2, which actually you don't do that yet, you've got to put it in there, because 2 was one of the numbers. Um, I don't know about this one. I think I've done that bad thing again where I started doing something, I just, I should have just left this alone. Right, I, I know this isn't probably what you want me to do, but I'm, I'm not going to do this one today. Uh, I've, this is uh, like, what, the third or fourth hour I've been playing this game. It's all getting a bit too much for me right now, to be honest, but... I don't I'm not doing this one today. We will come back to this one and we will do it. I'll figure it out some some time somehow some way. That's fine Not now. I'm afraid we're gonna try and play the littlest number and it's probably gonna be just as difficult But for now <laughs> we're gonna go do that. Yeah 23. Let's do this. Let's see what this guy has to say to reduce our carbon from management of the small numbers only that's fine It's public relations exercises results going straight to landfill cool for each zero terminated string in the inbox, send to the outbox only the smallest number you've seen in that string. You will never be given an empty string. Reset and repeat for each string. What's a zero terminated string? Go ask your boss on the previous floor. I already know this actually, so uh, leave, leave, it, leave it alone. How do I know which one's the smallest? I mean, obviously I, I know what one is actually the smallest, but 
how do I determine using Mr. M Mr. No Hair Eyeliner Guy? That's a good question. Well, let's let's start doing stuff. Um, this number, if you pick up five, pick up the twelve, pick up the one. How do we know that the one is the smaller than these ones? When I subtract this one from, if I subtract any of these from it, I'm going to get a negative number. Whereas if I subtract it from, um, oh, this makes sense in my head. Um, copy it to. I don't know how long the strings are. This is always my this is always my problem. Subtract. No, no, no. I need to inbox first. Subtract from. Yeah, inbox. Subtract from zero. If it's negative, call it the smallest. Or outbox. And repeat. I know this is really rough and wrong. But this one I'm gonna go with. If it's not negative, then just do it again, basically. Um, if, however, when you inbox this is zero, just start again. Cause it's all over. Cool. Five. Subtract. No negative. One. Subtract. That's a negative. It actually worked. Oh, you wanted a one, didn't you? You didn't actually want the minus four. Um, I just proved that it that was okay. Um, so at any point, I need to be co I need to copy there and then there. Okay. So once it's negative, when I go to outbox, I'm gonna copy from here. Okay, this I don't think works for everything. Or maybe it does, I don't know. We're going to find out. That's six. Then we're going to do this. That's the smallest number. So we're going to pick up seven, which isn't what I wanted. Why didn't I copy that? Why don't I copy the one there? Oh, because the inbox here. And then copy that to here. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Six. Six. I'm going to get this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then take the one and put the one. Okay, so that did actually work. But I don't know why. Right. That doesn't really work. Because it's not... I'm um, actually checking if this is a zero. There we go. Let's speed it up a little bit. Cool. Okay, he threw it away like I wanted him to. I, I should have put a three. But oh, that's because I'm not done yet. So why did he stop if I'm not done yet? Hold on. It works for three of three numbers. Three number string. Why doesn't it work for any more? Should it not just keep going? That's negative, so put the one. Oh, because as soon as it gets the negative, it's doing it. So we're going to put the 12 down. And then we're going to get the 16. We're gonna do a divide minus subtraction. Then we're gonna get the six. We're gonna do a subtraction. And we've hit a nine minus number, but we haven't even checked the three yet. So that's where I'm going wrong. Okay. What's up, buddy? Do you wanna tell me some more about this thing? That doesn't help me. I hate you guy. That doesn't help me at all. Um, how do I get it so... <sighs> hmm. I think what I need to do is inbox, copy it to four. And maybe somewhere else. I think the fact that I've got a sum already down. So I put down three and three again. Then I'm doing ten and three. And then I'm going back to do one. I'm doing one and three. So I don't want to do one and three. I want to do one and the one before it. Is that correct? No, because that's not helping me. Man, these are so difficult. So we're going to pick up our number. We're going to put it down at zero. Then we're going to go get another number. We're going to put it down at one. If it's zero, then it's just going to go straight in the box. Because it's got to be the lowest. You don't get much lower than zero. If it isn't, then we're gonna we're gonna do some some work with it. I think this should play out okay. So we've got our four, cool, and we got our thirteen, cool. So let's do some maths, okay? That's a negative number, so we know that that one's bigger than the one on the left. So we can do some more numbers. Uh, that's not a negative number, so we know that this is gonna be the smallest one. So that's cool. Now we're at the end of the string. We can box it and move on to the next one. Yes, I think it worked. 
Let's see, because this is the one I keep tripping up on. I'm going to do something. It's negative, so it's got to be bigger. Smaller, even. Then we're going to do another one. Mm, no, it's positive, so that's a smaller number. We're going to put it down. This one. We're going to do some math. Negative. No positive, even. So that means it's... Yeah. I can't even follow this in my head, though, but I... It's, I've done so many of these in a row for the last so many hours. I don't even know if this is going to be any even entertaining anymore. These are just loads of numbers and stuff. I think I did it right, though. It's not shouting to me anymore. So I'm, I'm feeling kind of good about that. But, however, let's just double check. Yes. Yes, we did it right. Cool. Well, this one might work out shorter once I edit out uh, all of the, the, the silence and me clicking buttons and drastically staring at the screen trying to figure out what to do. But nonetheless, I am going to call this episode there, so I do want to thank you guys very much for watching. And I do hope you did enjoy this episode, of course, if you did, you do know what to do. Yeah. Now, see you next time.